Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. We got a pretty awesome video for you guys today. These are all PvP highlights. Number two, by the way, from the streams that I do pretty much every single week. Link is down in the description below to all that. And we're doing everything in this video. We got an amazing 1v8, all kinds of 1vxs, in addition to a lot of Salty Night Nightblades and an ESO conspiracy theory that I think is going to blow your guys' freaking mind. Before we hop into the bread and butter of today's video, let me draw your guys' attention to a new feature YouTube has added to literally every single content creators, which is called Super Thanks. So what Super Thanks is, it is essentially a tipping service so you can support your favorite content creator, especially the really small content creators who quite frankly don't have a lot of ad revenue. To show my appreciation for any Super Thanks I receive here on YouTube, I will have an exclusive shout out section in each and every single one of my videos because quite frankly, it is you guys who keep me motivated and inspire me to keep creating content here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. You're, you're gonna want the, the serpent's ring. They sent you the wrong cooling tubes? No, they did not, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? No. Is there any way you can repurpose or use them? Dude. I really hope there's some way you can re reuse those, man. Let's see, these are the types of people we need to run into like 24 seven right here. If only, man. Rhino, these nuts. Oh, he's got 44k health. What the shit? You're getting incredible heals. Okay, fellas, y'all need to chill a little bit. Y'all need to chill a little bit. No big deal. Leave Horcrux alone, please. Don't come over here. <laughs> good, good fight, dude. Good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Best DK and A, hello. Best DK and A, yes, no question mark. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll show you guys why you don't run rally and cry. Why you don't run rally and cry? Because if your base damage is so high, it doesn't matter <laughs> if you have rally and cry on or not. You are going to just get murdered. Oh, I got him. <laughs> so I have a conspiracy theory for you guys. You ready to hear it? It, it's kind of out there, but it makes sense. It, it actually does make sense. 
So, let us begin with the oversimplification of ESO. So, in order to reduce all this server lag, yeah, they're quote unquote working on it behind the curtain, right? So, what's some of the things they've done? They've hybridized pretty much everything, making build variability, less spells, less things that should be in the game. For example, like there's just some sets and some skills that are just better than others now because of the hybridization changes. On top of that, let's talk about the Oaken Soul Ring, okay? The Oaken Soul Ring is promoting one bar builds, right? So what if the only purpose of the Oaken Soul Ring is so that people will no longer this guy such as Zergling, like, will no longer have a second bar. They'll just promote the shit out of the one bar setup. And that will reduce the amount of spells that people will have to cast, therefore alleviating the uh, shitty server performance. What you guys think about that? That literally happens the amount... Let, let's let's say everyone runs this soul ring. You know, just for easy math. Let's say everyone runs open soul. Everyone's on a one bar build. That then takes half of the calculations out of the game completely. So, is Zoss trying to make the game so simplistic that their old school engine and their old school coding can keep up with the spells currently in ESO? Or are they actually trying to fix it? Or will they continue to dumb down ESO? for newer players just so that they actually don't have to fix anything. They can just milk the ESO player base as much as they can by just adding items that make you not be dumber, but be more simplistic. What do you guys think about that? A little, little weird, huh? There we go, nice little hidey hole. But like Iron Blood to proc right about now, so I can go offensive. Ah, uh, fuck it, we'll just do it anyway. Hey, even though this guy only has like 40 something KO. I mean, has 40k health, I think he's actually the squishiest, unironically. What the fuck? Oh, he popped an immovable pot. I wonder I can seize him there, it's weird. So we're gonna kill this guy with the corrosive. Never mind. Uh, I just want to knock people off. No, we're just gonna get this kill real quick. Okay, coming up here is not the call. Like. Unless you have a whole Zerg up here, you're not gonna take Horcrux down easily, okay? Easy. Hit me with another heavy attack. Yeah, that's, that's a really interesting build. Surprise, motherfucker. I'm gonna save up a leap just for the night blade. But it looks like I'm buying the sword, but I'm not gonna fight the sword. I'm saving it just for the night blade.
I mean, that is a night blade. You know he's mad. You know he's mad. You know he's mad. You know he's mad as fuck right now. You can't heal now, Metal Mania. What you gonna do, bro? What you gonna do, bro? The zoo. We gotta take down the zoo. <laughs> Good fights, good fights.